So, um, hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are watching me live now or you're joining us on the replay, I'm really, really glad that you're here. So in today's live stream, we're going to be talking about the best cameras for live streaming. So we're in a really weird time and I know everyone's kind of sick of everyone saying that it's a weird time, but it is. And at the moment, live streaming is quite popular because it's a way that people can engage with their audience and it's a way that people can connect with others online. And I'm going to talk through some options in terms of cameras that you can use for live streaming. And I'm also going to demo these options as well. So I've got a couple of options and I'm also going to show you the different options, um, the different camera options so that you can kind of make a decision for yourself on what kind of works best. So thank you so much for being here. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help awesome entrepreneurs build their business, impact and income using video on social media. Make sure that you check out the links in the description because I'll put all of the timestamps and links to everything that I mentioned in this video in the description after the broadcast. So all of the goodness is there and I'm really excited to be here. So let's get right into it now. There are a couple of options for live streaming with the camera, um, whether that you choose to live stream on YouTube, whether you choose to live stream on Facebook or um, some other social media live streaming platform. At the moment, you're watching me through the Canon 90D, so a DSLR camera, but we're going to get to that option last. But let's go through some of the options for live streaming. The first one that I recommend that people start with, particularly if you're new to live streaming, is to use what you've got. And most of the time, people have a mobile or a smartphone camera. And this can include a tablet as well if it has a camera. And I recommend if you're just new and you are beginning with your live streaming journey, start with what you've got. Um, there's no need to spend a lot of money when you're just getting started, where you're just getting, when you're just getting the feel of things. Um, so use what you've got and your smartphone camera is definitely a good option. Now, if you want to use your smartphone camera, there's a couple of things that you need to have. So firstly, you need to have a smartphone, obviously, with a camera and the ability to use the internet. So you can't use a Nokia 5110, you can't use one of those burner phones that they use in the movies. It has to be a relatively modern phone that has a camera so that you can live stream and the ability to connect to the internet. You also need to have the relevant apps installed, whether that's Facebook Pages Manager or the Facebook app, if you want to live stream on Facebook on Facebook Live or the YouTube app if um, YouTube is where you want to live stream or Instagram if that's where you want to live stream there. And the optional, the optional accessories that you can have that I typically recommend people invest in if they, you know, after a little bit of time is a microphone um, and a tripod if you are um, live streaming a lot so that you can use your hands to do other things, um, to demo or to talk and you're not holding the phone, which can sometimes cause the video to look a bit shaky and, um, yeah, some lighting as well. Lighting always helps, um, just improve the quality of your video and lighting doesn't have to be expensive, um, ring lights or expensive, um, softbox lights. It could just be you using natural lighting or lamps around the house. So any of those will actually work. Now I wanted to be, wanted to show you how easy it is to live stream on Facebook. So we're going over to my mobile device right now and I'm going to show you how easy it is to live stream from my phone on Facebook. So I'm I'm on the phone. Um, I'm going to go via the Facebook Pages app, and we're going to live stream on Facebook right now. So it's a live stream with a, within a live stream. It's major inception right now. <laughs> so from the phone, I'm going to select the Pages app, and then now I'm in my Facebook page, and then I'm going to select Publish. Um, I'm going to write um, a hello 
let everyone know that I'm going live and some emojis because emojis are the thing right now. And then I'm going to select the red camera with an eye in it. And then I'm going to select live video. And now you can see me and I can see you. Um, and to go live, I can do a couple of things. I can choose some of these options at the bottom, or I can just start going live by hitting that live button. And now, there you go, I'm live. I'm live on the page. It was as easy as that, opening the app, um, typing a bit of text and then going live. And then that's it, that's how you go live. Um, and it's pretty easy. And you know, most people have a phone and that's all you have to do. And I've just finished the live stream there. So that's, that's it. That's how easy it is to live stream from your phone. So I, I definitely recommend this as an option, um, particularly if you want to live stream to Facebook. Um, it works really well. <laughs> it's very, very stable. They've, they've, they've improved it. Um, and you know, you, you should use what you've got. So that's the first option when it comes to live streaming that I recommend. So use your mobile phone, your smartphone. Um, you can install the apps on your iPad or on your tablet as well. And you can definitely use that as an option for live streaming as well. So use what you've got and your smartphone is definitely a good option if you're just getting started. Now, the second option that I love and use is using an external webcam. Now, a lot of laptops and computers come with a inbuilt webcam, but I found that the quality that you get from the inbuilt webcam is typically not very good. And the video output that you get is very pixelated and the color on it is horrible. So I, ne I don't really recommend you using that. I recommend you getting an external webcam because um, if you want to use your computer to live stream, whether on Facebook, it's on Facebook or YouTube, um, an external webcam is a good option to give you some decent video quality. So we are actually going to do another demo. Um, there's a couple of webcams which I use and personally recommend. So I really love the Logitech Brio because that gives you really good quality, um, you know, they say it's 4K um, video output and it's a little bit on the more expensive side, but it's a good one if you want to invest in a webcam to do your live streams. And the second one is the Logitech C920. So all of the links to these are in the description. Plus I've got reviews on them so you can see for yourself, but I'm going to show you the quality that you can get from a webcam. So you're currently watching me on my Canon DSLR but I'm going to switch over to my Logitech Brio. So this is the webcam. So let's switch over now. And this is now me, oh, there you are, um, the Logitech Brio. So you see the, the quality is pretty good. I like the color. Um, I think I'm coming through pretty clearly from what I can see and it's a decent experience, right? So this is much, much better than what you would get using your um, inbuilt camera. Like I was going to demo it, but I was so offended by how horrible I looked <laughs> using the inbuilt camera that I was like, no, I can't, I can't possibly let anyone have you know, endure that as well. So I definitely um, recommend a webcam. And you know, the Brio is a little bit more high end, but there are other affordable price points for webcams. As I said, the Logitech um, C920 has been around for a little bit now, but the quality that you get from that, you can still get 1080p, which is a decent um, you know, quality for you to be live streaming at. So that's the second, well, the second option that I definitely love and recommend using a um, Logitech or using a webcam to live stream from. And yes, um, I'm going to as Pete John says, Logitech do make excellent webcams. I um, am a big fan of their webcams and I think they've definitely um, improved, continue to improve, particularly with the um, Logitech Brio. It's one of my favorites, which is what I'm using right now. And the fourth and final option that I personally love is live streaming from a DSLR camera. So you're currently watching me via a um, Canon 90D. It is a 4K DSLR. Um, it is an expensive camera, but it was a gift that I got for myself um, for Christmas last year. And I was really excited for many reasons. I 
you know, love tech. And it was, it was that gift that I, I was like, oh, just take my money. When I heard that Canon were coming out with a 4K um, camera and it wasn't one of the expensive Mark, well, it's still expensive, but it wasn't one of the Mark cameras, you know, the, the $5,000 cameras, the 90D was they, you know, I, they may as well have just taken my money from the moment they announced it because I was so excited to get it. And um, I love live streaming from a DSLR camera because of the quality that you can get from it. And um, I, yeah, a lot of people also have DSLR cameras lying around that they, you know, purchase for photography purposes. And now you can really easily use it for live streaming as well. So if you've got one, why not use it? It doesn't have to be 4K. So the ADD, Canon ADD is another great DSLR camera that I've used to live stream from that I can definitely recommend works really well, but you don't have to, you know, just use Canon. The other cameras are fine as well. So the only catch that, well, there's a couple of catches that comes with um, live streaming from a DSL, DSL, DSLR. What's going on today? Um, when it comes to DSLRs, you can't just turn on the camera. You need a couple of things to make it work. Um, you do need a, I use anyway, a Elgato CamLink 4K. So this device um, that you see at the top there, I can't point to it because I'm mirrored. Anyway, this device that you see there, um, that goes into your computer and there's a cable, you need an HDMI cable that goes from the cam link to your camera. So that's how you hook it all up. The camera has a cable that goes into the cam link that goes into your computer and then you get beautiful DSLR as a webcam option. And I think like once I started, well, once I finally got my DSLR hooked up, I was like, oh man, I, I don't think, sorry, Brio, I don't think I can ever go back to the, to the Brio or the webcam after being able to get the quality that I get from the DSLR. So I really, really um, love this option. There are a couple more catches that come with live streaming from a DSLR. Um, it does take up, you do need to have a pretty, um, I don't know the technical word, but doofed up computer. I think that's uh, as technical as I'm going to get today. A computer, a computer that can handle all the processing power. And um, it was something that I stumbled across when I first purchased the Cam Link. I didn't realize after I purchased it that my computer was a little bit old and I actually needed to upgrade because it couldn't handle what was required. So just make sure that you check out the um, the specs that Elgato or the CamLink capture cards need in order to, you know, stream in 4K or 1080p because it does take a little bit of effort. So if you've got a bit of an ancient computer, it may not be able to handle it. But I found that when I contacted Elgato and asked them, you know, what do I need? They were really good with communicating with the, the specs with me and confirming that, you know, I was able to, that my new computer was able to do what I wanted to with live streaming. So that, that's the recommendation that I have. And um, I'm just, hello everyone. I'm just going to go through the questions now. Hi, Wendy. So, um, so Pete Johns, hi Pete Johns. I'm gonna add you to the live stream, Pete. Says, nice DSLR recommendation. My DSLR doesn't have clean video output mode. So need to upgrade. What better reason to, you know, upgrade than, hey, the audio doesn't work. I need a new, beautiful, brand spanking new camera, Pete. So any excuse to upgrade, you know, the tech in my, in my days. Um, now, Wendy says, let's see, it's like you to the live stream, Wendy. Does Facebook limit the quality or is it all in the camera? I've had some mixed experiences with this, Wendy. So when I first um, was live streaming, probably late last year, and I was trying to get all of the 4K to work, it wasn't coming through 4K on Facebook because I think Facebook do compress it. But then recently in the last few weeks when I've been live streaming more, I've noticed that the quality has increased. It's not 4K on Facebook, but it is 4K on YouTube. So I don't know. Um, I think that Facebook do limit it, but having a 4K camera, you know, is still beneficial if you want that quality because it will still look better than not having a 4K camera. But I'm not saying you have to have a 4K camera. I'm saying that um, there is benefits. So you, you definitely get that quality. And plus, I, I like being able to, after I live stream, use that footage 
um, that is saved locally to my computer to be able to repurpose that and have that in 4K. So that's um, pretty exciting. Um, yes. So Wendy said, are you live streaming? directly now so yes i am live streaming directly now wendy so i'm live streaming both to youtube and facebook um, at the moment and um yeah i do that using a couple of things so i feel like live streaming is getting easier but um there's still a bit to it so in order to live stream to two places at the same time I use a combination of things so I use Ecamm Live which is a Mac only software and then I also use RestStream so RestStream is um, the I guess middle software that pushes it out to YouTube and Facebook at the same time and Ecamm Live allows me to do all of the overlays that you've seen and um, put everyone on you know all the comments on the screen and all of that so there's I think there's still a little bit of duct taping that happens with live streaming but that's just kind of I guess the nature of the technology in my view um, it's really hard to have one piece of software that does everything um, you know we've kind of got a couple of pieces of software that we kind of piece together so I'm um, really really excited to do this um, live stream because I've seen a lot of people taking up live streaming in the last month or so. Um, Wendy says your quality is amazing. I'm sure you mentioned what you were currently doing at the start, but I missed it. Um, so rest. So um, the software that I use, I use a few things. So to get this quality, I use a Canon 90D, so a Canon DSLR. Plus I um, use Ecamm Live, the pro version, so I can stream in 4K and I use reststream.io so I can multi-stream. So a lot of duct taping of things, but um, I got it all to work in the end. <laughs> so that essentially wraps it up. So I've talked about my favorite cameras. We went through um, live streaming using your mobile and why that's a great option because everyone's got a mobile and if you're just getting used to live streaming it's a great way to kind of work that live stream muscle get used to going live because it's a little bit um you know different being on camera as opposed to not being on camera and it's a low investment most people already have um mobiles and smartphones some people have multiple mobiles and smartphones so if you want to live stream um, pick one. <laughs> the other one that we talked about was using a webcam. So I definitely love using webcams. Um, they're, an, they're an affordable option these days, particularly the Canon, not the Canon, the Logitech series. They've got some really, really good webcams. They've got the higher end 4K ones like the Logitech Brio, but they've also got the C920 and C922, which are quite affordable as well. Um, and then I talked about my favorite um, DLSR, DLSLR, I'm not talking properly today. I'm live streaming with the DSLR and I personally use the Canon 90D, but you don't have to use that and the pieces that you need with that um, in order to make that happen. There is a helicopter going over. I think a helicopter goes over us every day at about um, this time that I choose to live stream because, you know, that's how <laughs> the universe likes to work sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that essentially wraps up today's live stream. And this was really fun to put together because I really wanted to just take you through what I use, what I recommend. And um, there's lots of options out there. You know, don't feel that you're limited to just what I've talked about today by all means there's heaps of stuff but I thought I'd narrow it down for you and make it um, as you know easy as possible because that's what I do so if you found this video useful give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you're looking to live stream you know I've got um, some Facebook live cheat sheets and it really is a simple way or super simple way of getting you up and streaming on Facebook live even if you have no experience and even even if you've never hit record before so the link to the cheat sheet should be in the description and I'll put it on the screen somewhere if you're on YouTube and um, yeah I really enjoyed this broadcast and putting this all together 